Spider, be quiet. This is pictures of Pearl after she's had her midsummer curry. Uh, the devastation is all over the ground, as you can see. Uh, we had a bit of a dog explosion. Unfortunate, but, you know, it's kind of what happens when you're a shetty, shetty English shepherd with a spay coat. Uh, her nephew, Rooster, doesn't shed anywhere near as prolifically as she does. So there's that. Um, when you're grooming nails, and this dog hates having her nails done, so we do them a very specific way just to kind of make it a little bit easier for her to accommodate. The very first thing we do is make sure that we have stick, styptic powder on board because she likes to pull around. And basically what you do is you just pour a little bit into the cap so that you have some. I move it away from the dog because they kick and squirm. And we're going to start with the hind legs first. You can see she's already, oh my God, I'm going to die. So we get a lot of resistance, even though she, her nails are done fairly frequently. I'm going to need you over here. When we clip the nails, especially on dogs that don't like it, we make sure that the head is secured and the pointy parts can't reach us, right? That would be the mouth, okay? So she's got hobbit feet, but her feet are fairly, the toenails are fairly light. So we can see how much we have to cut. Obviously, we're not making the cut until she's calm. Checking to make sure I didn't quick her. I didn't. She's just a little bit of a pain in the ass. And now, anatomically, nails have a tendency to follow the same growth rate, regardless of what color they are. And now I did quick that one. That's where the styptic powder comes in. Because she's super herky jerky. So I'm gonna one of the things that you can do is you can fold them under the back also. So I'm gonna take this one from the top. Good. Go a little bit further down. Not a lot. There we go. So that foot's done. Because I'm right-handed. I'm going to lift the foot up, go underneath the dog. I'm going to start on the nail that's closest to the inside. It's a big dark nail. I'm just going to take the end off. Move on to the next one, which is also fairly dark. I did not quicker. She likes to think I did. I think she likes to test me personally. Her nails are kind of brittle because I, there we go. So the hind is done, all right? She wants to pull out. I'm just gonna scoot her up. Up you go, lass. When we do the front, there's obviously far more risk. Thankfully, this nail doesn't have a dew claw. But what I can do is bend the toe or bend the foot backwards and clip safely from back here. This dog, good girl, be still. You can see her glowering at me, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the noose up a little higher, make it slightly uncomfortable for her. Normally, I have my husband Peter helping me with this dog, actually with all the dogs. So today he's acting as cameraman because I'm shooting this specifically for a person who asked for it. You can see the baleful look on her face, which tells me she wants to give it a shot. Stop. Good. As you can see, I'm not pulling the foot away from the body. I'm actually sort of tucking it up into the body to make sure that we have appropriate space and I'm not going to hurt her. She is a 10 year old dog. She's lived a long and active life. Good girl. See that? You didn't die. 
We do the exact same thing on the other side. Always make sure my styptic powder, powder goes with me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna draw the foot over. So this foot has a dew claw. I know, huh? <laughs> She's like, I hate your guts. You're such an evil woman. Good. All right, and they're fairly easy to move through. I gotta trim her feet. Stop. There. And there's actually an anatomy to the nail. You may not be able to see it on camera. Wow, that was long. How'd you get that so long? You need to move the camera back a little bit, honey, so I can get in here. There. Good. Good girl. One more and we're done. I know. You hate it. I hate it that you hate it. Good girl. We're all done. First thing you do is fish the nail trimmings out of your styptic powder. Encourage your dog to step forward so she doesn't hang herself. Whoops. Put your styptic powder away. That shit's expensive. Don't waste it. And then release your dog. Okay. Woohoo! You're all done. Yay! She's like, thank you, Jeebus. And because I didn't kill her. Good girl. Here. Good girl. Look at that. You get a big giant party, you old fatty. There you go. Good pup. Thank you, sweetheart. And we're done.